Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. Some inspiring tips to help you start your week off right. So in this video, I wanted to talk about emotional strength. Now lately, I have been working a lot on an oncology unit and let me tell you, more than any other units, it has been an emotionally difficult. But one thing that I found, one key distinction that I found was that when I was thinking about my patients, I was always visualizing them in very terrible experiences. Whether they were getting chemotherapy, radiation, or other treatments, I would visualize them going through these hardships and like getting completely like destroyed. I would visualize their families like completely torn apart. So I was visualizing all of these things as horrible, permanent, and unjust. And ultimately, although they may be those things, it's not really going to help me interact with my patients and their family members if I am carrying all this like baggage with me. So one thing that I know for sure is that this, I do not know the entire purpose of life. If you do know the purpose, let me know, you know, help a sister out. But really, we don't know exactly why we're here. But fundamentally, it helps me if I have the belief that everything happens for a reason. Fundamentally, I'm not saying that it does. But fundamentally, if I believe this, it helps me. Now, I also believe that this isn't the end. It's potential a beginning or just a means to another form and ultimately it helps me visualize that emotionally it helps me cope with the things that can go on in my life if I focus on the impermanence of of the things that can happen so what I want you to do is like as you go throughout your day and you might have a really challenging situation emotionally on the job is try to find things that you can think about that help you put things into perspective so that you can focus on the things that you need to focus on now I'm not saying never cry with family members or patients like it can be totally acceptable to do that and I do that sometimes I actually did it just the other day so it's really fine to show emotions but at the same time you just want to make sure your mind doesn't run away with emotions so you can focus and still be there for them and not feel bad for them just you know really treat them give them the care that they deserve in a very loving way knowing that there's a lot more to life than we know all right guys I really hope this video helped you out a lot for motivation Monday I can't wait to see you again next Monday Talk to you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.